this is our today's tutorial and I'm going to be using this gorgeous yellow yarn it's called Freya it's a Swedish brand and it is 130 meters 50 grams and I'll be using a four millimeters hook And of course you should have a pair of scissors and also make sure to have a measuring tape this is mine it's in centimeters you can also use inches but I don't have one with inches and I've measured myself from 101 in hips that's all you need so let's dive in so make a loop Enter your hook into the loop you have created and chain 10 plus 1. So this is my chain of 10 at the plus 1. Skip the first loop into the next with a single crochet. Go into the next loop with a single crochet and work a single crochet along the entire chain. I'm at the end of my row one of single crochets, chain one, turn your work, start from the very first loop but not from the front, from the back, we are working with the back loops pull through a single crochet and then work a single crochet along the entire row using the back loops I'm done with my row 2 I'm going to repeat the same thing until I have a waistband long enough to go to pass through my hips on stretch because I'm using acrylic yarn, it's stretchable, so make sure your waistband stretches to fit your hips if you're using a stretching yarn. If you're not, make sure it fits your hips non-stretched. So I'll fast forward, I'll meet you on the next step. So I'm done with mine and I can assure you when I stretch it, it fits my hip area or hip measurement so i'm going to join it sorry the sun is strong so it's disturbing my focus but i'm going to join these two that's my waistband so come you're going to do a slip stitch loop to loop pull through and pass through the loop on this side of the waistband i still use the back loop and then the other loop on the other side i pull through to lock off this part i'll fast forward and meet you when i'm going on my next step so i'm done with this part you can see it so chain one okay this is my waistband it looks small but on stretch it fits through my hips so you're going to remember we had chained one add the second one that's going to be like your first half double crochet go into the loop next loop put a half double crochet you're going to crochet two half double crochets in each row of single crochet that you made so this is mine don't forget each row of single crochets you're going to put two half double crochets so i'm going to fast forward my video i'll meet you towards the end of my first row of half double crochets I'm getting to the end of my first row of half double crochets you're going to come on the second loop enter your hook and pull through chain one chain two 
chain two turn your work the chain two is like your first half double crochet and go into the next loop with a half double crochet and then into the next with a half double crochet and continue the same thing until the end of the row two i'll fast forward my video and i'll meet you at the end i am at the end of my row two And again, you're going to go on the loops above and make a slip stitch. Chain two, turn your work. Repeat the same thing. I forgot to tell you I'm working on size medium. Please work according to your measurements. So I am going to continue working the same thing until I have 18 half double crochets. So I'm first going to, I'm going to fast forward. I'll meet you when I have 18 HDC. So I'm at the end of my 18th half double crochet. go on the second loop on top and slip stitch and this is it we are now going to create a separation to create our crochet bottoms and i already counted mine it's i'm going to separate with 52 hdc's so I've put a stitch marker and I'm using this thread as a marker. Each leg is 52. So you're going to chain 18 to separate. I'm done with my chain of 18. And now I'm going to attach it where I placed my stitch marker. I'm going to remove the stitch marker. Or I could actually leave it as long as I have a loop to enter. But now, enter your hook and slip stitch. that's it so i'm going to show you one part of the bottom you work on the rest on your own so chain one two that's like your first half double crochet make sure you're working from where the loops are loop, uh, facing on your side so this is mine wrap your yarn going to the next loop with a half double crochet then continue with a half double crochet i'm going to fast forward i'll meet you when i'm passing the chain space i created i have reached the chain space you're going to pass it with a half double crochet so since we are separating so enter into the loop it's quite tight and continue with a half double crochet i am getting to the end of my row one of the separation Come to this loop and put a half double crochet. Sorry, it's it's quite tight. I pulled it quite tight. 
but enter that last loop with a half double crochet and then you're going to pull through enter on top and pull through then chain two turn your work you're going to work the way we've been working the double the half double crochets i'm going to do six rows around six to eight rows deep considering how decent you want your bottom to be then i'll meet you to show you the next step so i did eight rows i'm on the end of my eighth row and pull through chain one and cut off the yarn so you're going to come where the loops are facing you again and enter your hook enter into the loop you've created or however way you want to start it pull through chain two that's like your first half double crochet and work this side of the leg as well i'm going to fast forward this part i meet you when my bottom is complete my bottom is complete you can rock this and you're going to now turn it and we start working on something different so i'm going to use this first row you know i don't know if it's clear but make a loop You can start from wherever you feel like because we are going to go all around so i'll start from here at the corner of my bottom i'll enter through the double crochet the first double crochet the loops the upper loops of the first row of the double crochet these ones and then i pull through the loop that i created chain you're going to go all the way around you're going to chain two that's like your first half double crochet and then chain one that's like your chain one space and then look, look clearly you're going to skip this and rotate your hook into the next two loops you're going to skip one double crochet i mean half double crochet then this and then go into the second and pull through and make a half double crochet then chain one wrap your yarn around the hook again skip one double half double crochet go into the two spaces next and make i don't know if it's clear if you want to zoom in please do go through pull through just know you're skipping one half double crochet and creating a half double crochet on top of the next half double crochet after you've skipped one let me do this again chain one skip one half double crochet we are using the first row remember into the next with half double crochet like that 
so i'm going to continue and circle through i'll meet you at the end i am i'm at the end chain one go on top of the first one that you started with the chain two go on the chain two enter through with your hook and pull through so this is our first row chain one two that's like your first double crochet because from now on we are going to use the double crochets and chain one that's like your chain one space turn your work you're going to work into that same loop it's it's chain three then chain one space sorry the three is double crochet the chain one is chain space that's four go back into the same loop with a double crochet then you're going to uh to keep working in each half double crochet chain one going to the next oh sorry i skipped of course this is a voiceover but you shouldn't skip any loop any any half double crochet chain one going to the next with a double crochet chain one go back with a double crochet the one i skipped you should not skip it chain one going to the next don't skip any half double crochet i skipped one unknowingly but please don't do it so like that in each half double crochet work in each half double crochet a double crochet chain one and another double crochet like that i am getting to the end of my row one of double crochet chain one double crochet forgive my lighting it's too bright chain one and going to the first double crochet on top of the third loop and pull through then enter into that loop and pull through just to make sure so this is our row two and now you're going to chain one two three that's like your first double crochet then chain one that's like your chain one space go back into the in the space in the chain one space with a double crochet then chain one go back in that same space with a double crochet sorry chain one and go back with a double crochet so that is the same thing we did but we are putting now four double crochet with a chain one space in the chain one space we worked before chain one go back in the chain one space with a double crochet chain one go back with a double crochet chain one and go back with a double crochet you're going to do this until the end of the row like that I'm at the end of the row. This helps us get the ruffle shape. So you're going to go in the third loop you created on the chain three and pull through. Chain we are done with this row we are going to change so chain one two three that's like your first double crochet turn your work like that chain one 
and now start working on top of each double crochet with a double crochet like the way we work meshes a double crochet chain one double crochet in the on top on for another double crochet nothing like double or what that's it chain one go on top of the next double crochet the double crochet and on this part you're going to work in that next loop like chain one that loop on top of that double crochet with a double crochet and continue working the same thing double crochet chain one go on top of an, the next double crochet with a double crochet again chain one go in the neck on top of the next double crochet with a double crochet like the way you work a mesh i'm going to fast forward i'll meet you at the end of this first row i'm almost at the end chain one go on top of the first double crochet we created on top of the third loop and pull through like that so we are going to continue with the same thing chain three turn your work chain one and you're going to work a mesh go on top of the double crochet with a double crochet chain one go on the next top of the double crochet with a double crochet until you have the rows of your choice i'm going to fast forward my video and i'll meet you at the end So I'm done. I made around 12 rows for myself. So you can do the same. And now we are going to work on the waist string. If you have elastic band, you can actually stitch it in. But I'm going to use the string. So make a loop and work on a chain. My chain is ready we are going to pass it through the waist and then that will be it I have extra yarn it's up to you if you want the mesh to go longer than the bottom which I'm going to use as a next option for now I want to keep the design short for those who love it this way and then I will do it longer during my leisure time you can do the same if you're interested you can keep it short or you can make it longer past the the inner bottoms so that is it this is our tutorial i have nothing much to explain anymore thank you so much guys for watching i love you so much for your support i love you for always watching my videos giving it a like and a thumbs up commenting your views thank you so much and have a good day